my lovelies my name is Jane and welcome back to my YouTube channel today we're going to be trying some new makeup that I found at the drugstore so I think today is a case of grab your coffee grab some snacks I think we're just gonna have to buckle on in and I think it's gonna be a long one so without any further ado let's get this show on the road so today I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. I switch and change what I do. I am just so bad at eyebrows. <laughs> so I thought, do you know what? Let's just get it over with and move on. So today I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place. It's this one here. And this is their Sculpt and Shade Brow Pencil in, must have a colour somewhere, dark brown. So don't know whether people in the UK know but Superdrug now sells Juvia's Place so which is an affordable brand sort of middle for diddle so not too bad I can't remember how much this one cost me I will put it somewhere so I bought these a while ago and I just haven't had time to film so let's have a look at this one I know the packaging came a little bit damaged but that's no big deal there you go in the end I had to rip the package because I couldn't get it out <laughs> hey ho Okay, so let's put it the right way around. So this is the one here, nice and simple, nothing exciting. So you've got your twist up on this end with your spoolie on this end. So what we're gonna do is brush our brows through. As you know, if any of you've watched any of my videos, I never do my brows on camera because I suck at it. So this could be very, very interesting. So before, Superdrug took over Juvia's Place. They were actually sold on Beauty Bay and they got taken off of Beauty Bay. I have no idea why. And then I heard, is it just before Christmas, that they were selling Juvia's Place now on Superdrug online. So I thought, ooh, now's a good time to actually try some. So let's see what disaster I can do with these ones. So it's a nice skinny little pencil. Let's give that one, ooh, okay. That, that didn't do anything, okay. Oh dear. Okay. That's very patchy. I don't know whether you can see that there. That's very, very patchy. Oh, and I think mine's broken as well because it's just fallen out. Let's see if I can find it. Well, we won't be using that because I can't actually find it. Whether it's rolled over one of my units or under the bed, I don't know, but I can't find it. <laughs> so we're just going to move on and I'll come back to the brows. So next we have got the new Maybelline, what's it called, 4-in-1 Perfector. It's an instant anti-age perfector 4-in-1 whipped matte makeup. I'm not usually a fan of makeup, but I have got a glowy sort of um, moisturiser slash primer slash glowy thingy on today, which I absolutely love. And what it says this one is, is a primer, a powder, a concealer and a BB cream all in one. I've been dying to try this one. It's been sat in my little box for about three weeks now and I'm like, no, not doing it. It's like, no, got mine in the shade Zero Fair Light. I don't know whether you can see that with the lights. So we're gonna give this one a go. Again, I got this one at Superdrug. I got everything here today at Superdrug because it was all new at Superdrug. So this is what the packaging looks like. Go, let's see if we can Oh, I think that's going to be a good colour because I can't see anything. <laughs> so that's always a good day. Okay, now, couldn't see anywhere where it said best way to use it. So we're just going to have a quick look. No. So I think what I'm going to do is do what I normally do and use my little buffing brush. Yes, it's disgusting. Yes, it needs cleaning. No judgment. <laughs> okay, so I've just wiped off any residue foundation so we don't get the cross-contamination. So I'm going to squeeze a bit on there. Don't know much of this, but it's definitely sort of moussey. So it doesn't sink into the brush or anything like that, which is always a good thing. And let's see what she's got. Ooh. Okay. That is very, very light coverage, which is fine. But let's have a look, see if you can notice. See this side here, compared to that side there, that to me is definitely blurring. 
definitely blurring. Yeah, definitely tell a big difference on that one. Like I say it's not the most full coverage in the world. Oh, so I've got, got it everywhere. How do I manage to get it everywhere? I think because it is a moussey like texture, you've got to be careful when you put it on your face because it drops off. <laughs> so, but that just feels really silky actually. Whether it's got a silicon based primer in, I'm not sure because it didn't really give me a lot of information. But I think it's going to be very much my skin but better but oh my god that has so made it look so much nicer that is surprising and it's very very lightweight so it's not complete i don't know whether it's the glowy primer i've used but it's not completely matte so i'm hoping that um, the glow primer slash moisturizer slash whatever i use <laughs> it's helping this one see look drops off so you've got to be careful with that so maybe it's one that you just chuck it on with your finger and then blend it because it's not liquidy it's moussey it just drops off my brush <laughs> but that's okay but oh my god like I say it's not anywhere near full coverage it's very much a light coverage one that Look at that. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Just run the excess down my neck. Just make sure it's all blended. But oh my God. Even looking close up in the mirror. That just looks so pretty. That is so pretty. I'm going to just um, blend it over with me trusty beauty blender. Yes, I got a different one. This one is... The Real Techniques one, I got it in something rather, I can't even remember what I got it in now. And I thought we'd, you know, give the Real Techniques sponge a go. So we're just going to blot out that like I normally would with any sort of foundation or anything I put on my face. Just evens it all out from any brush strokes that are left. That looks so pretty. Oh my goodness, I'd say any blemishes now, because yes, you can see them, which is fine, because it's sort of, you know, it's a light BB cream, but that's what concealer's for. So, you know, we just cover that with concealer and move on, basically. Okay, so I've just primed my eyes. Anything extra I use, I will link down below. So check out the links down there. So next we're going in with a Juvia's Place eyeshadow. This one is in the shade The Rebel Honey. Again, I've never used a Juvia's Place eyeshadow before. Let's say I've not touched this one yet. I have peaked, but I've not touched it. So this is what the front of this one looks like. And like I say, the size of the pans are really, really big. Again, can't remember how much it is, so I will put a little thingy at the bottom here with a price on it. So let's swatch all four of these. So we've got three mattes and one shimmer. Oh my God, look at that. So let's do the mattes first. You know I'm bad at swatches, so forgive me. There you go. Oh, look at the vibrancy of that. Oh, oh, that's going to be pretty. I think I'm going to go in with my little brush today. You know, let's do something not exactly way out there for me, <laughs> but you know, something a bit more vibrant, I think, because we've got this beautiful colour scheme to play with. So I think we're going to go into this third colour down here. They haven't got colour names, but being only four pans, that's easy enough to kind of figure out so I think it's going to be very very pigmented <laughs> let's just bring you in a little closer okay that's it you can see you see me a little better now just tap that off okay let's see what she's got it's a lot oh my goodness that is so pretty I so I want to do it a little bit bolder today you know just because I don't normally it's like, why not? Change it up a bit. Just tap back into that again, just to get some real good colour payoff on that one. Like I say, it's blending out really easily, which is always a good thing. So using a smaller brush, it does take a little longer to kind of work it through the crease, but that's okay too. 
And like I say, you know, I will speed up certain areas of this, otherwise we're going to be here a while. I'm going to tap back into that one. Like I say, I want something quite vibrant today. Take that right into the inner corner. And then I'm going to get my fluffy brush here and we're just going to blend the edges of that. So little circular motions, not pressing very hard at all, just pressing very lightly because I don't want to blend it all away. So we've got a bit more of a sort of gradient there and so it does look a bit crazy. It won't when I finish, I promise. Well, <laughs> I'd like to think it won't look too crazy when I finish. Yeah, but that is nice. That is really nice. So I'll drag it out there a bit. We're going to conceal that anyway, so that's all good. But that is really, really pretty. I'm going to take my small little tapered brush now and I'm going to dip in to the paler colour. It's not a lot paler, but so which is this one here. And I'm going to dab very, very lightly. So literally, tiny weeny bit. See that right on the end? I'm going to tap that off on my mirror. And we're just going to very, very lightly. I mean very lightly, run that under my brow bone. Yeah, so that's what we got going on there. So I seem to have lost a bit of that colour. Let's just tap back in again. It just seems to have lost a bit of that, so let's just build that back up a bit. And then just blend that out very little bit. There we go, that's what we got going on there so far. So I'm going to take that small brush that I've just used for under the brow bone, just cleaning that one off on my sort of washcloth that I use. And we're now going to take that darkest colour here, pick that one up on, I literally just squished it. So tap that off, and then we're just going to go on the outer. The that is pretty. That is really, really pretty. I'm just going to pull that in slightly just to deepen that crease up. Ooh, she's pretty. And now we're just going to go back in with that first brush we used, just take off a bit of that colour that's left on there. And just very slightly just blend that one in because. I don't want a harsh line, I just want it to be a little deeper. What do you think? That is a pretty colour. <laughs> so then we're going to go in with that shimmer, it's the only one in the pan. Again, going to take that one on my little flat brush that I always use. Ooh, that picks up a lot, look at that. And we're just going to tap that one initially onto the lid and then like sort of tap and drag. Ooh, she's pretty. These are very, very pigmented, very soft, very easy to use. I'll say that is nice. It's nice to have bought some eyeshadows in completely different colours for a change. That's why I picked this one. It's like something I wouldn't normally do. And I'm like, oh, do you know what? I need to just do something a little different. Uh, that's what we got going on there so far. Just going to deepen up that outer edge back with that tiny little fluffy brush, just a smidgen. And just kind of blend that in, just slightly over that one. This is looking pretty. I think also what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tiny, this is a tiny, tiny little flat brush. I'm going to dip into that sort of chocolatey colour that we used on the outer edge and I'm just going to tight line with that one. So just going to as close to the lash line as we can get it. Just very gentle backwards and forwards motion just to kind of blur it out a bit. There you go, that is looking nice. So I'm going to do what I normally do, say it with me. <laughs> I'm going to go off camera do the other eye and I will be right back. So I'm back with the other eye done and as you can see I've done my brows. 
obviously not with the Juvia's Place one <laughs> since it gone missing, but hey ho, we won't worry about that, we'll just move along. Okay, so the next thing I've got to try is from Misguided. Never tried anything from them before, and it's the Meet Your Match Liquid Concealer. This is in the shade 100, so which is quite a fair colour because I'm quite a fair girl. So let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a look to see the wand on there. That's it. If it wants to. Okay, let's have a look, see what it says. There's nothing on here that says much about anything. Oh, here we go. Mattifying finish with hydrating aloe vera, vitamin E and zinc for UVA protection, SPF 6, dermatologically tested. So it's vegan and cruelty free. So that's always a good thing. So not keen on the idea of mattifying, but hey ho, we'll chuck some on anyway. Oh, that's quite thick. She's a thick girl. So we're just going to put a little bit on. That is thick. I'm just going to put because I need that to sort of cut up the eyeshadow so that is one thick girl so gonna go on the outside first I've changed it up a bit lately and I've been kind of going on the outside first with this sponge because it's easier so let's blend that out and then I go in with the pointy bit and just do under the rest Ooh, I don't know. That's uh, not <laughs> straight off the bat. Not keen. Not keen at all. Doesn't seem to want to kind of move where I want it to. Ooh, look at that. Oh no, 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 no. Let's try this one. Oh dear, that is dry. That is thick, and that is dry. Oh dear. That looks horrific. <laughs> it hasn't even played well with the BB cream that I put on because you can see where the stripes are. So you can see it's not blending. That's not good. That is not good. Let's see if we can make it work. Oh dear. That is just no. No pass, hard pass on that one. Definitely. Let's see if we can save it with some powder. God knows it needs saving. So, and try and be good today and uh, use some drugstore. I did cheat with the brows and that is high end at Charlotte Tilbury, but I think will be listed below. But I'm um, trying to be good and use all drugstore today. So, I'm going to go in with the Fit Me pressed powder. This one's in the shade 105. So I'm going to take my brush that I normally use, tap into that very lightly and see if that will rescue under my eyes. I doubt it <laughs> because that looks horrific. Yeah it's just I think I've got dry under eyes and that being a very thick dry concealer not as bad as it was. I think the powder's helped. Let's have a look. That's it. Bit of a close up. Let's scare you all. <laughs> but yeah, that is nasty. That is nasty. I just set that very, 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 very lightly because the mousse is quite dry. You know, it looks beautiful on the skin, but I can feel that it's it's quite dry on my skin. But I've got dry skin, so you know, somebody with more oily to more maybe combination skin but I can feel that it is dry on my skin but I really like the way that it looks okay so let's finish up the under eye I think before we go on to anywhere else so I'm just going to go back in very quickly with that Juvia's Place one and I'm just going to get my little flat brush here and dip into that first colour that we use which is that darker sort of yellowy orangey I don't know what colour it is <laughs> and we're just going to Run a bit of that under my eyelashes. And we're just going to take my little fluffy brush and blend that out. So it's not such a stark line. I say I don't go too far down with this. Because I think I look crazy. <laughs> and we're just going to go back in with that flat brush and take that 
deepest colour in there and just chuck a tiny, tiny bit on the outside of each eye. Then go back in with that little blending brush and just blend that out. And just give that a nice blend. Same on the other side. This makes it look a little bit mo more coherent. Okay, so that's what we got going on there so far. Okay, so next we are going to go in with the Maybelline Curl and Bounce Mascara. This one has been all over the TV in the UK. You know, every time I switched on the telly, an advert came on for this mascara and I'm like, fine, I'll buy you. So let's see if I can open the little sucker, shall we? Okay, so now we've got it open. Let's have a look at the wand on this one. Um, can you see that? It's got that kind of curl in it. Okay, it's a bit bigger than the picture made it look, but you know me and mascaras, if you've been here at all, you know, we don't get along very well. You know, a bit like my eyebrows, we don't get along. I find it very difficult to find one that I really like. So this one is supposed to hold your lash in a curl. So we'll see. <laughs> I'm no good at curling my lashes. I have lash curlers and I just don't get along with them. You know, so I never pre-curl my lashes. Let's go in with the first coat and see what we think, shall we? Because I'm very, very picky about mascaras. Okay. I'll say, you can see it's there, it's black. <laughs> That's all I got. It's black. <laughs> Let's do the other one. Okay, so I'm going to dip back in. It is quite a wet mascara. So I'm going to dip back in and I've been using the shorter one because that puts the product on and then you flip it and then brush it through. So I'm going to put another layer on with the little short side there and then I'm going to flip it and brush it through. So let's see what she's got this time. That's looking a bit better. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's going to flip it now and brush it through with the longer bristles. See if we can get some volume going. Yeah, see that's made a huge difference. Can you see the difference? That has made a huge difference. So we're just going to do exactly the same on the other eye. Going with the short side first. That is not bad. For my stubby little lashes, which we won't even go into that. Let's see if I can... I know it's a bit scary. Have a really good look. And see what you think. I don't know, it's not bad. Not bad. Okay, that's it, a bit clumped together there, but that's not bad at all. It's definitely giving length. I want to say, you know, for me, any length is a good length, but it's definitely 100% giving me length. And it hasn't all stuck together, so it hasn't done all that sort of spidery legs thingy or anything like that. That's not bad. Okay, let's see what she's got on the bottom lashes. I say, only ever go in with a light hand on the bottom lashes anyway. Just going to turn that round to the longer bristles. Because I have got very fine bottom lashes. Yeah, you can see they're there. And I say, I don't go in heavy handed. That's not bad at all, actually. Okay, I see you. I think I prefer that to some of the other ones that went viral, like the Sky High Mascara. The oh, what's it? That air one in the like the flat, squishy, tubey thing. Uh, didn't like the air volume, yeah, didn't like that one either. So, but that is looking better. But I do find on first use, okay, so quite often I will like it, but then I'll sort of use it then a little while later and I'll be like, mm, no. <laughs> so, we'll see how we go. I'll let you know on that one. I will keep you updated once I've made a firm decision on that one, but. First impression, so far, so good. So last but not least, we're into lipstick. And again, I've got another product from Juvia's Place. This is the new Chocolates in the shade Muted. It's a velvety matte lipstick. 
There we go. So we've got the logo on. What a beautiful component that is. So, oh, look at that. That's a nice colour I've chosen. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm going to say it felt really creamy, really soft. Swatched really easily. So, let's make sure my lips are moisturised and chuck that one on. Oh, that's a nice colour. The only thing that feels weird is this triangular end on it. That's just weird. I felt really weird putting it on, but it did go on really easily. It's very creamy, went on really smoothly. I say just felt a little bit weird with that triangular thing. I think we're just not used to kind of that shape on it. So that was a bit odd. But apart from that, so far, I think my face looks quite nice today. Like I say, something a little bit bolder for a change. I enjoyed the eyeshadow palette, you know, really easy to use. I'd say nice, bright, bold colours. I'd say the shimmer on the lid is also beautiful. The mascara, so far so good. Like I say, first impressions, I liked it. But we'll see how I feel with continued use. Uh, the eyebrow pencil was a non-starter. Maybe I'll find the end and try it again, but I couldn't find it. So, hey-ho, we'll skip over that one. But um, like I said, on the swatch of it, I wasn't like holding out much hopes on it because it was very dry. <laughs> But we'll never know right now. What else did I? Oh, that concealer. Really? That was pants. That sucked. I think, like I said, if you had more oily under eyes, mine are very, very dry. I do think, you know, maybe that might be a nice one. But like I said, it's not for me personally. What else did we use? The Perfecta 4 in 1 by Maybelline. I think like, my skin looks beautiful. Not going to lie. And I didn't conceal any areas either. Apart from under my eyes, you know, I left the rest alone. But looking at my skin, I'm like, oh, you're pretty. You know, I do think that maybe, like I said, you either sort of squeeze it out and put it on your face. Or maybe it might be just as easy to put it on your hands, rub it together. And then I'm going to try that, you know, see how I sort of get on better with it. Because it is moussey and it doesn't stay on the brush. It just falls off, you know. <laughs> so... But like I said, I think my skin looks absolutely stunning. I really, I'm very, very impressed with that one. Really like the lipstick. The colour's awesome. Like I say, it's creamy. It feels very moisturising for a matte lipstick. You know, it doesn't feel really dry or anything like that. But I do put lip balm on first before I put any lipstick on. You know, I do that every single time I put lipstick on. I always put lip balm on anyway. So, you know, maybe that's helping. But um, yeah enjoying that one like I say I think the colour's really nice I think it looked nice of a deeper lip liner which I do have one so I will be playing around with that one so on the whole I think it's a win for everything apart from that concealer which was absolutely dreadful <laughs> but like I say that might be just because I've got dry eyes and it's just too thick a consistency and it just felt really dry even putting it on you know but you might absolutely love it just because I didn't absolutely love it doesn't mean to say you do so thank you for watching my lovelies. I hope this didn't turn out into a look too long a one today, but you know, we had a few to get through and hopefully I will see you all on the next one.